So, kids getting a driver license, huh? Yeah, clear the roads. <laughs> Seriously though, it's scary stuff. Your new driver hurtling down the highway to say nothing of all the new costs you may be facing. Hoo boy. But really, look at the statistics. Drivers between the ages of 15 and 19 are much more likely to experience a collision. You don't want that. I don't want that. Heck, the government doesn't want that. And that's why states nationwide have adopted graduated driver licensing regulations. I know, it sounds complicated, but don't worry. I'm here to help. Welcome to Graduated Driver Licensing Made Simple. Now, each state has its own set of specific rules and regulations, but today we're taking a look at Pennsylvania. Meet Daniel and his mom, Kay. They're about to start on the great adventure of the GDL. Daniel turned 16 today. In Pennsylvania, this means he's just old enough to apply for his learner's permit. He finished driver's education last weekend and is currently halfway through his high school's driver education course. He and his mom have even spent time together studying this year's Pennsylvania Driver's Manual. All they have to do now is head down to the local driver license center, where they'll both sign off on his permit paperwork, and he'll take both a vision test and written knowledge test. 18 harrowing questions later, Daniel is a proud learner permit recipient. So, what now? Now the fun part. Daniel needs to clock 65 hours of supervised driving time with Kay, a driving instructor, or another licensed adult over the age of 25. 10 of those hours will have to be at night, and five must take place during poor weather conditions. Kay will need to sign off on a log, stating that Daniel has indeed completed his supervised driving hours. The supervised driving period is really important because it gives experienced drivers a chance to make sure that their protege is learning excellent safety practices behind the wheel. Now that he's got his permit, Daniel needs to spend six months working on his driving abilities under his mom's watchful eye before moving on to the next phase. Meet Amanda and her uncle Jason. Amanda is 16 and a half years old and just spent the last six months learning Jason's best tips and tricks for how to pull off the perfect parallel parking job, among other vital rules of the road. She's now ready to embark on that important rite of passage, the road test. She and Jason head to the driver license center where Amanda will show off her shiny new driving skills. With a passing score here, she'll enter the junior driver license stage of the GDL. Now, she can finally strike out on her own in that brand new Mercedes. Yeah, or whatever. She may be allowed to drive solo, but there are still safety restrictions on her junior license. These restrictions are meant to protect teen drivers from potentially dangerous situations and distractions on the road. For the first six months, Amanda can't drive with more than one passenger under the age of 18 in the car with her, with exceptions for members of her immediate family. She also can't drive between the hours of 11 p.m. and 5 a.m., until she's driven a year with a junior license, or until she turns 18. Amanda knows it's important to stay alert and aware while she's driving, because the law has specific provisions for junior drivers. Repeated violations, accidents, or injuries caused by drivers with a junior license will result in continued restrictions. After she turns 18, or after one year of safe driving with a junior license, the state's safety restrictions will be lifted. Congratulations! At this point, Amanda is a fully licensed, unrestricted, ready-to-go driving machine. Okay, let's recap. At 16, a Pennsylvania driver is old enough to apply for a learner permit. It's recommended that he or she complete or be enrolled in driver education and driver training. At the Driver License Center, the student will take a vision and written test, which must be passed in order to receive a learner permit. During the next six months, the new driver must have 65 hours of supervised driving time. 10 of which must be at night, and 5 of which must be doing poor weather conditions. After 6 months of supervised driving with a learner permit, the road test can be taken. With a passing score, he or she will enter the junior driver license stage. Here, the junior driver no longer needs supervision, but some restrictions will stay in place, like not having more than one passenger under 18 in the car without supervision, and no driving between the hours of 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. After a year with a junior license, or when the junior driver turns 18, the restrictions will be lifted from the junior driver license. Hopefully this handy guide has helped you make sense of the ins and outs of graduated driver licensing. For more information and specific rules for your own state, check out impactteendrivers.org. Happy driving! <laughs>